Let's just go for it. Gherkin gang, we got a whole lot of things to cover and only a short time to do it. So let's get started. Episode 4, we got ourselves some crystal. Got ourselves two beavers, got ourselves two pterodons, named one of them Pop-Tart. Unfortunately, Pop-Tart died in a tragic accident off camera. You see, we were exploring around, got a little bit too close to the swamp, ran into one of those giant helicopter bugs, the Rhinoganthia things, and well, Pop-Tart died, protecting me and allowing me to get away. She will be missed. What a great pterodon she was how sweet she was anyways i got back home and thought to myself i still need another pterodon so we went out and we got ourselves another pterodon everyone say hi to stoner i don't know what's wrong with her i literally don't look at this we'll, we'll whistle her to follow come on she's literally stuck in the rock she can't move she can't go anywhere i tried for so long to see if there was anything that i could do and it just, it would not work. It was hopeless. So, Stoner, you're going to stay here. This is going to be your life. You're going to have to stay here at the Clutch Hutch and guard it and protect it forever. Your bravery is appreciated. Your bravery is the work of a saint. So, after that unfortunate situation that we ran into with Stoner, we decided that we would go out and tame another Pterodon. And, well, we did. We got it. We're good. We've got a second pterodon. We're just going to call her pterodon number four and leave it at that. Anyways, let's see. What else? We got ourselves some must shops. I was out exploring and looking for metal, and I ran into this guy. And, well, all he needed was a Tinto Berry, so I said, what the heck? We'll take him. So, we named him Mossy, and Mossy has been a great addition to the family. We welcomed him with open arms. We love having him. All right. I know there's something else that I'm missing. What else? Oh, yeah. This is the second time I'm recording episode five. That's right. We've unfortunately already done this. I'm Fit Pickles, and welcome to episode number five. Yeah. So here's the deal, guys. I definitely tried to record episode 5, and it was going great. Everything went well. We got through the intro. We explained what we were going to do for the episode, and we went off and we did it. The goal was to go back to the cave that we had gotten Crystal at. You see, at the end of that cave, there's what's called a tribute. And tributes are used to summon the bosses that we need to battle on the island. For the first boss, we need three tributes, and I was going to get one of those first three tributes. And let's just say it didn't go over as I had planned. All right. Roll the clip. What is that? What is that? Oh, 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 spider, 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 spiders, spiders. Please tell me you can take it. Please tell me you can take the spiders out. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Get them. Get them. Get them. Take out the spiders, please take out the spiders. Oh wow, you're really, you're really hurt. Oh, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Oh boy. Oh, we, we might, oh, we're gonna lose Rhonda. Oh, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose our, Rhonda died. Rhonda died and I'm stuck. I don't know where I'm at, but I'm stuck and I need to run. We're running. We're running. We're pulling out the gun. Okay, load the gun. Shoot the gun. Load the gun, shoot the gun. Load the gun, shoot the gun. Missing shots. We're shoot. We're use the bullet. Use the bullet. Okay. Wow. Well, that's Rhonda gone. I'm stuck. I'm passed out. I don't know what just happened. I thought I was prepared for this. I really did. I can't believe we lost Rhonda. I was not prepared for this cave. I was not prepared for this at all. We're gonna have to try this again. But there was only two spiders. It was only two of them. What do you do? Just bite me and run off? Ah! 
as you can see, we not only failed miserably, but we lost Ronda in the process. Another Raptor down. Maybe I don't deserve them. I don't know. Whatever it is, Ronda will be missed. After losing Ronda and dying tragically in that cave, I said to myself, there's no way. That's not how we're going to end. Oh, oh. That's not how we're going to end episode number five. So I went back. I went back to the cave. And I was going to grab my bag and I was going to move forward. And I was going to take on those spiders. And I was going to get that tribute. I was confident. I knew I could do it. Or at least I thought I could. So I got back to the cave and unfortunately to my dismay, I couldn't find my freaking bag. Bag's nowhere to be found. I searched high. I searched low. I went down the cave. I went back up the cave. I couldn't find my bag anywhere. I lost a bunch of ammo. I lost my rifle, narcotics, a crossbow, some arrows. Just a lot of nice things, okay? And now we're gonna have to start from scratch. So I don't know what we're gonna do. After realizing that I had nothing left and that there was no more that I could do, which brings me to why I'm standing here naked in what is now an empty clutch hutch. We today are moving. And no, no it's not because we failed the cave and didn't get the tribute. But maybe I wasn't quite as prepared as I could be. So, we're gonna get better prepared. We cleared out the clutch hutch, got everything loaded onto this tiny little raft that you see out here. Yeah, we fit all of the dinos on that tiny little raft out there. And let me tell you how great that was. Not the first time, not really the second time. The third time was a lot of fun, but here's a couple of clips of that. Yeah, that was fun. Anyways, guys, like I said, we're not leaving because we failed the cave. We're leaving because we need to get better prepared and I know the perfect place to do it. Not only that, but I definitely saw a Gigantoraptor over here somewhere on that side of the river. And I just don't want it getting too close. Because honestly, I found out the hard way what it's like when things get too close. Yeah. That was freaking brutal. I thought I was about to lose everything. Luckily, we only lost a Dodo. Unfortunately. But that's all right. Like I said, we're getting out of here. We're leaving the Clutch Hutch. Sayonara, Clutch Hutch. See you later. We're set in sail. Let's just say one more goodbye to Stoner. Thank you for your bravery in protecting the Clutch Hutch. We honor you forever. All right, everyone. I think we've got everything that we need. Everyone's loaded up. And I think that we're ready to go. So let me pull up the map real quick here. Now, unfortunately, the part that we're going to on the map has not been loaded in yet because I haven't been there yet. But we're going to circle it right there for you. That's where we're headed. A little place called Herbivore Island. Now, for those of you that don't know, herbivores are dinosaurs that only eat plants. So hopefully, this place will be a little less dangerous for us. There's also metal on the island and an Ankylosaurus, which Ankylosauruses will help us gather more metal from some of those metal nodes. And I think it's just gonna be a safer base location for us. We're just gonna build something real nice there. We're gonna stay on Herbivore Island. We're hopefully gonna be safe and avoid any confrontations with some of our neighbors. So let's get going. I honestly don't know how great of an idea this is. I mean, we did fail the cave. So my hopes are high that we can have a good episode. I am a little nervous because I'm going to I'm going to pronounce this name wrong. The Let Letiosaurs or they're the big fish dinosaurs in the water that will attack your boat and leave you completely stranded and break everything. All of my dinosaurs will probably get eaten by megalodons or something and I will be left shipwrecked with nothing. So let's just hope 
that we can avoid any mishaps like that. We've got a couple of raptors over here on the left-hand side. I don't know what kind of raptors there are. So we're going to steer clear of them. I do think off in the distance over there, I think that's Herbivore Island, though. I don't think we're really that far away. Let's see, where are they at? They're over there? Because we're going to have to sneak. Do I want to sneak over this way? Let's see if we can sneak around this. We don't want to get too close to some of these uh, stones sticking out of the water because they might catch one of our dinosaurs and leave it stranded here. So we got to be very careful getting around this. Very nice. I don't know if I can see anything in the water. I don't see anything under there, so that's good. So we'll just keep trucking along. I'm going to check the map and see if we're still on course. Looks like we are. Try to stay a little bit away from the deep end of the water because we don't want the leches. Leech, leeches? I know. I wish I could say it. I really do. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let's try this. Lead sick. Lead sicky. Like lead sick these. Lead sick these. Lead sick these. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but that's what we're gonna go with. Yeah, they'll be off in the more deeper water, and those are the things that'll attack our boat and leave us stranded and shipwrecked. So I, oh, that's a megalodon out there. I see that. Hopefully, we can make it around. We're just going to swoop around this way. I don't think the megalodon will attack our ship, but it might get kind of close to some of our tames and close enough to bite them. So I don't know if that's a risk I'm willing to take. So we're just going to slowly go around over this way. Again, keeping pretty close to shore. We'll find a place to cross over here in a moment. We're going to get a change of scenery, guys. I'm pretty excited about this. I think that Herbivore Island is going to have a lot to offer for us. It'll be a little bit easier to get some resources and not feel so pressured and not feel so kind of like looking over our shoulder all the time. Hopefully we'll feel a little more safe with where we're at. Oh, this water makes me nervous. Okay, what do we got over here? I see some parasaurs, some turtles. We're just going to work our way around this island and get over to Herbivore Island. Let's see where we at on the map. Looking pretty close. I'm going to start loading in some more of the new map. See that island start to pop up over here, I'm sure. Now, I really wish that there were dodicaruses on this island over here because then it would make it a lot easier for us to also get some stone from some of the rocks and oh we don't want to get too close to these rocks though Ooh, that was that was close they've got a weight reduction for those rocks no 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 everybody stop everyone stop everyone stop oh guys Who's all here still? Did everyone that need to stay on the boat stay on the boat? I think so. Okay, everyone's on passive. Only thing I forgot to do. Literally tried to check mark every box, and I forgot to turn everyone on passive. Looks like we kind of made it out okay. Honestly, guys, I'm going to try and grab this loot crate real quick. We're going to get our... We're going to get this pe pego that's going to attack us. Yep, we're going to steal whatever you need, buddy. We're going to get our pterodons to follow back with us because they're just going to fly now. I don't even know why I put them on the boat, honestly. They could have just been flying next to us the whole time, but silly pickles. Come on, man. Let's grab out of this drop real quick. We got anything good? Oh, that actually isn't too bad, honestly. I'll take those. We ran out of trank arrows when we went into that cave, so that'll kind of be a nice little... Kind of like a helpful little kickstart to what we were looking for. Is this the right... Let's just check the map. I want to make sure I'm headed to the right place. I'm pretty sure that that's where the island is. So I think we're going to be going across right here, guys. This looks pretty nice. Again, I hope there's nothing in the water. Please just let us make it across here. Pretty please. All I see is the little rays... Okay, all right. Okay. 
This is looking nice. I'm pretty sure that this is Herbivore Island. I think this is what they call Herbivore Island. This is very nice. I'm going to find some place to park the raft real quick. And then I think we're going to just... Uh, and we got the Ankylosauruses. There they are. That one looks nice. I like the yellow spikes on it. Very cool. All right. Let's just... Uh, we'll just park the boat. Oh, you know what? I see a little path going up over here. So let's, let's check this out. That looks like it leads up to the top here. And there is this little cove right here. This looks like there's a... Oh, I thought that was a uh, ruins. Maybe there was like a explorer note, but I don't see one over there. Looks like just a regular tree. Welcome home, everyone, or you know, at least welcome to your new home. Everybody, stay here with the boat, especially you uh, pterodons over there. Yep, you guys just land somewhere over here and just stay, please, if you could. Thank you. I'm just going to go explore the island. Should I take anything with me? I don't really know if I can even make anything. I feel like I should make a spear or something, honestly. And maybe not take valuable items with me. Let's just grab some wood, some stone. And we'll need some thatch and some fiber for anything that we really need to make. Let's see what we got. Okay, we'll get some. We got fiber, hide some thatch in here. Somebody's got some thatch on them. I literally just loaded everybody up with just whatever was in the clutch hutch and just I was like, here you go, please carry this so that we can find someplace else to live. There we go. So we got some thatch, fiber, some wood, stone, maybe some flint. I don't really, yeah, we'll need some flint for a spear and stuff anyway, so okay. Get ourselves a bow. How many arrows can we get? We can get 55. I think I'm just going to do like 40 for now. That should be good. And then let's get ourselves. We'll get a few pikes. That'll be good. And I've got a smithy. I've got all my building materials because, again, I can pick up structures. So I picked up all the stuff that was in the clutch hutch and we just brought it here. Uh, I do have a lot of materials to start building a base. So depending on what we find on this island and how we like it, we'll find a place to build and probably get ourselves a more permanent home started. And I'm really looking forward to that. It'll be nice to have just someplace relaxing that we can just store everything, not worry about anything getting attacked. We'll be able to gather some metal from the island here and, you know, kind of, I think, really get a little bit better start going again and then eventually we'll be heading back to that cave so let me get this uh, stuff put on my hot bar we don't want it right there though we're gonna get it over there and over there perfect alright we'll just pull that out real quick I'm gonna check this out and see what this island has to offer. You know what? What am I doing actually? Let's just jump on the pterodon and just fly around real quick. One of these guys is, well, you got too much weight on you, so we'll just take that and move it somewhere else. Here, bread. Hold on to this for us. Oh wait, take all this too. I don't wanna, I don't need all of that. No wonder he was so heavy. All right, let's check this place out real quick. See what we got. I mean, this is obviously is like a perfect place to build. I see iron over there. Iron there, iron there. Iron right here. So there's really, honestly, iron all over up here on top of the mountain. Which is, that's pretty cool, I would say. What about over here? Is there some, there is some over here as well, but it's just one. How many more is there? There's another one. Okay, so there's a couple of veins over here. or Sorry, a couple of nodes over here. Now oh, my pterodon's going to have to land. Okay, stamina's back now. Because I do kind of want to build up top here, but I feel like it almost would be way better to just build in this little cove right here. Because then the metal nodes will keep spawning up there because I won't put any th buildings by it. And I feel like it'll be way easier to access this area right here. Oh, 
this is really nice. I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to build our house right here. I claim this territory as my own. This shall forever be known as Pickle Island. Everyone welcome. This is now no longer herbivore. I you there, you there, Tri Triceratops. Excuse me, you as well. Excuse me, oh ma'am, I'm sorry, ma'am, you ma'am. And you, uh, ma'am and sir, from, from here on forth, this island is no longer known as Herbivore Island, it is known as Pickle Island. Do you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Tell your friends, tell everyone on the island, and let them know that I am the new island leader. Hey, you there, Parasaur. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Just want you to know that this is my island now. Yes, I'm the I'm the owner of this island. I'm I'm Fit Pickles, and this is this is Pickle Island. Welcome to Pickle Island. Thank you for living here for as long as how long have you lived here for? What's that? Oh, you'd rather not say. You there, sir? Just so you know, this is my island, and I look I'm looking for someone of your stature and abilities to bring on to my team. Would you like to join my team, sir? Do you have a moment to speak about joining my crew? Another time, maybe. Well, everyone seems really friendly on this island, so I think maybe I'll fit in really well. Anyways, let's uh, let's get everyone unloaded real quick. Whistle, follow all. We're gonna get everybody loaded up into this island area. Perfect. Looks like mostly everyone. Some people are probably a little bit overweight, like Brad over there. He's got a lot of stuff on him. So, he's moving really slow. That's okay, Brett. Take your time. Oh, hey. Don't go in the water yet, okay? Just stay right there. Let's everybody... Alright, well, so we're gonna whistle for all of them to stop. We got everybody unloaded off of the raft. That's good. Did you want... Are you, are you here to be a part of the team? Are you here to... Okay, no. She's just gonna keep going. That's alright. We're going to have to find ourselves. Let's see what other Ankylosauruses are over here, honestly. Before we get too, uh, too involved in anything else, I just kind of want to see what the island has to offer. I know I saw another one. I think it was the one with the yellow spikes over here, honestly. Oop. I'm just going to gather this real quick. Might as well get the... Hopefully this doesn't go on for too long or we're going to cut this out. Is a medium-sized fish-eating bird. Okay, let's just common in the rivers and lakes of yeah, the, the island. Yeah, cool. Thanks. It would be about okay. two thirds the height nope. of a human. We don't want to listen to it. Tall. That's okay. But it rarely shh, does. Shh, 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 shh. spends most of its okay. time. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back after this is over. Okay, gotta love those explorer notes, especially since you can't skip them. Or at least I don't know how. So if you know how, just leave it in the comments and let me know. Anyways, I really do think that this is cool. It gives us a quick tame. I don't think I want to try and kill this and take the baby. I think I might just try to tame them and then have two of them. So, I don't think there was another one anywhere. I'm still going to go over here and check because I swear I saw one that had, like, yellow spikes on it. But maybe that was one of those ones. Guys, we can see Stoner over there. She's such a brave pterodon. Staying there to guard the clutch hutch all by herself. I couldn't ask for a better pterodon. Well, I guess maybe I could. Maybe one that would fly. Let's see. I don't see any other Ankylos anywhere. I definitely want to get one of those because we're going to want to take the metal up there out with one of the Ankylos and not anything else because that's going to give us the biggest yield for our metal. If I were to just take it out with a pickaxe, then unfortunately I would, I mean, I would still get metal. You'll still gather metal with a pickaxe, but if you have an Ankylo, you'll be able to gather a lot more metal with them. So we're going to look around. So far, 215s. Oh, nice, a drop. So far, 215s and a 5. So that's not really anything too crazy. We're going to go over here and grab this, though. If I can, what is purple? I can get it. Okay, cool. And what do we got? Some cooked prime fish meat. We got some ammo. And we got metal, which is really nice because psh, we're going to definitely be needing that since we ran out of all of our ammo. And what am I not even watching this for? 
<sighs> well, that was a nice little nap. Okay, let's get back to work. We're trying to find some Ankylosauruses that are reasonably leveled so that we can use them to get some metal. There is a lot of Triceratops on this island, so that's cool. We'll be able to get some meat from a lot of these dinosaurs. We'll probably kill a lot of these Parasaurs, to be honest. Got a Pheomia. If we find any higher level Pterodons, then we'll probably end up taking those on as well. But yeah, I think a level 15 is probably as high as we're going to be able to get for today. So let me just land because we're about to run out of stamina again. Yeah, so I think honestly we're going to try and take out this level 15, the one that has the baby, because then we're going to get two of them out of it. And I feel like that's the best possible scenario. So let's get back over here to the group. Get back over here to the crew. We did get some Trank arrows from... One of those drops that we picked up on the way here. So we just got to find those. And I think, what was it, like 14? Yep, there it is. So 14. And I think I probably have enough to... Enough narcotics somewhere to make more Trank arrows. Let's see if we can find that anywhere around here. Red, do you got it on you? You do. Oh, man. I just need to eat and drink some water. Oh, my God. Okay, let's eat and drink some water so that we don't pass out again. Okay. I don't have any food on me, so that's unfortunate as well. We got six more Trank arrows. Let's see. Should we just eat some berries? Let's just quickly eat some of these berries. I know there's some food in here, I think. Wait, there's I have cooked prime meat or cooked fish. Yeah, let's just eat that. There we go. Okay, that'll be better. Drink some water. That's better. Okay. We've got ourselves how many Trank arrows? 20. All right, and I think that's all we're going to need. So let's get these arrows switched on to the bow. Hopefully we've got enough. Looks like 20. And I think we're just going to go for it. I think I want to take him up this way because I don't want that other one to aggro with it. I'm worried that it will also come after me. So let's just... Let's just go for it. Eleven, perfect. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm Fit Pickles. Don't worry about what's going on over here. This is, uh, your, your dad has been injured, and I'm here to make it all better. I'm gonna fix everything. They call me Dr. Fit Pickles, actually, so we're just gonna, um, yeah. Let me just, uh, he looks hungry. I'm gonna go grab some berries. Grab some berries out of bread. Oh, I have berries on me. Why not just put the berries that I have on me in there? That works, too. All right, let's put these mijo berries on here. There we go. And it'll probably take him a little bit to eat. We're just going to leave him here. We're going to keep an eye on the Torpor, which is that pink little line. If that pink little line gets too low and gets too empty, then he will wake back up. And we won't have tamed ourselves an Ankylosaurus. And we won't have the baby to go with it. So we're going to keep an eye on this guy. And I think, honestly, I know it's pouring down rain right now. How's it going, Mr. Bronto? Welcome to Pickle Island. But I think that we're going to start clearing this area out so that we can make our more permanent base. This guy's a level 10, right? We don't need another one. We'll let him roam around free. Now, the only thing that I want to do first is this is a lot of material that we're going to get from doing all of this. So I do kind of want to build some stuff off on the boat. Like, put the smithy back up put the forge back up and just have that stuff sitting there probably get a couple of i think i have some storage boxes built yep so we're gonna get some storage boxes put on there the forge put on there and we're gonna find the smithy wherever i put that and we're gonna have ourselves a little like little workshop area going on so that we can go back and forth and put all the items where we need them to be 
and keep everything pretty organized for the most part because right now as you can see we are super organized I cannot find the smithy anywhere either that or I've missed it already which you know, I'm sure you guys are probably laughing about so let's get over here is it on this nothing's on that beaver Brad, do you have it? Do you have the smithy on you? Where is it at? I don't see it on there either. Pterodon doesn't have it. Randall doesn't have it. It's got to be on the mush chops, I think. I think that's the only thing I haven't checked yet. Yep. Let's get the rest of this metal. We'll take that metal, too. We're going to leave. Actually, we're going to need that metal. I think that's all I should take for right now, though, because I don't want to be... I'm already got a lot of weight going on here. Oh, this Bronto is... Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Thank you. Alright. So let's get this smithy on our hop bar, the forges, and these boxes. We're just going to lay the smithy down. We're just going to do it right here. That way we can get to it from off of the boat as well. We'll lay down our two forges because we are definitely going to end up with some metal. Especially, especially after our Ankylosaurus tames up. Which it looks like. He's already at 22%, so he's he's going up pretty fast. That's good. I hate this auto-aim. I need to figure out how to turn that off. It's amazing that I still haven't looked into that. Still over here with this stupid auto-aim. So, all right. Let's get this metal put into here because we're going to get that started. We're going to get a couple of these boxes put down as well because we're going to need some place to put all of these materials. Looks like I need to eat some more as well. I'm just going to take some of this prime meat that I had cooked up. Nope, we're going to eat the prime meat, not put it back into the... There we go. Alright. Just eat a couple pieces of those. Put that back. And the metal in here. We're going to go back. We're going to get some wood. Because I think we're going to have enough to at least build a metal pickaxe, which will help with our yield of items here. So let's see... Oh, man, so unorganized. I'm pretty sure Brett has so much on him. So, yeah, he's got the fiber. He's got the thatch. He's got the flint. He's got the wood and the stone. Everything that we needed right there. That's perfect. I think I do need some hide. So that one is going to be, I think that's going to be the hardest material to come by right now. I don't think that I have any hide anywhere, honestly. We're going to have to check that out and check some of these creatures. Just throw all this in here. I don't need any of it right now. Because, uh, yeah, melee. It's going to say hide. It says hide. Look at that. Let's double check through these guys again and see. Because I am almost certain. Let's get some of this meat put into the freaking preserving bin, too. We don't need all of this laying out. Could be put to good use. Make some narcotics and stuff. And yeah, we've got all these berries in here. Well, we should leave the berries in bread because he's going to have to eat something. Let's check and see what's on the mush chops. Yep, we can use some of this rotten meat, that's for sure. Okay. I don't see any more... Whoops. Is there hide on there? I don't see any hide on there. No hide on there. So I think, honestly, what we're going to do... Where is... I see this baby right here, but where is its mother at? Or where is its father? Where is it? Where is your... Where is your parent at? Because I want to kill you and your pa Oh, wait. No, that's a bad idea because there's a Bronto right here. If I hit this Bronto, it'll destroy everything that I have right here. I'd really prefer to get this Bronto out of here. That's all right. Let's go see if we can take Randall. No, we're going to take Ralph because... Oh, Ralph. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Ralph doesn't gather any meat or any hide for some reason i'll have to show you that sometime but literally doesn't gather any of it run around killing things and nothing ends up in his inventory at all and i tested it out i went around ran around with Rhonda, tried to kill things got me got hide went around with ralph tried to kill things didn't get anything it was a nightmare so ralph's broken i think maybe it was a bad omen that we named him ralph because he doesn't work now. So, that's a thing. Let's gather some hide from this Fiomia, though. I think we're going to be able to take it out with Randall. Come on, Randall. Get this guy. 
Hopefully this Brando doesn't get too close though. Bronto, you stay over there. I'm trying to do something. I don't want to hit you. I just want to hit this Fiomia. Oh, I don't even have a... I'm going to have to go back and grab my hatchet though. Man, Randall is not very strong, guys. I don't even know if he's going to take him out before he breaks from this bola. All right. Okay, but we do need to run back because... I have what I think to be a stone pickaxe, or sorry, a stone hatchet that's stronger than I think the metal hatchets that I have. I got it from a drop. It's got 192% on it, but I don't know if that makes it better than the metal one or if it's just a little bit stronger than a reg. Like, I don't know if it makes it better than a metal one. Or if it just makes it better than a stone one. So let's see. I know it's... I think it's... Is it on bread? Every time I look for something, it's always on bread. So, yep, there it is. So I'm going to take this because that's going to help us get a little bit more hide out of this Fiomia. So let's go back over here. We're going to chop him up. Hopefully get enough hide so that we can make some more weapons. Where is he at? Somewhere around. Oh, there he is. Of course, the Bronto is going to be all over it. So we're going to wait for him to pass over. Take your time. Take your time. I just need to get rid of this body. All right. You going to stay over there? Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I think that's definitely yielding us far more than we would have gotten. 32... That's going to be plenty enough for us to get a pickaxe started. I don't know. I don't think we're going to... No, we'll have enough metal to do the... We'll have enough metal to do a hatchet as well because that's going to be cooking up inside of this forge in a second once I put some wood in it. Butter, do you got some wood in you? You do. Look at you. Perfect. All right. We'll just take this over here. I'm going to get some more metal started. go metals in there good to go and we're gonna throw this hide into here we're gonna get ourselves a pickaxe and we do have enough to make nice okay and then we're gonna make ourselves a hatchet so we had enough to make a hatchet and a pickaxe so that's gonna be really good for helping us gather the materials that are here on the island and before I do anything actually I want to test something real quick. Let's see. We're going to pull out this hatchet and we're going to put it down here. And the pickaxe, I'm going to put it down here. I don't think our. We're just going to put the bow down there and our pikes. Alright, now I'm curious to see. We've got two trees right here. We've got. I don't know. It looks like they'll probably yield about the same, or at least they should be close. So we're going to chop it down with the... We're going to start with the metal pickaxe. So we got about 16 wood from that. Now we're going to chop it down with this... What is it? I think purple is ramshackle. Is that accurate? Let's check it out. Journeyman. I was wrong. Green is ramshackle. So we've got this journeyman stone pickaxe. We got 16 from that tree with the metal. What are we going to get from this? We got 20 with the stone journeyman pickaxe so that does lead me to believe that there is a good possibility that this stone pick or this stone hatchet sorry i know i keep saying pickaxe this stone hatchet 18 there what do we got here 21 so maybe it i don't know maybe it's as strong I don't know. We might have to do some more comparing. I might do some more comparing off camera and see what I come up with. But, yeah. Alright, guys. I am definitely thinking that we are going to start getting rid of some of this brush that's over here. I think I'm going to start off by just kind of taking out all of these trees. I'm going to chop down all these trees and get ourselves plenty of wood. Maybe a little bit of thatch as well. And then we'll go around after the trees are all broke down. I'm probably going to end up taking bread or butter out. And we'll probably do bread. I 
think we'll do bread, yeah, because bread will be able to gather a little bit more. I think his melee is higher. So we'll take bread out, and then I think we're also going to end up taking out the must chops. Or maybe we'll get enough metal made up, and we'll take a Sith, or a Scythe, or however you say it. And we'll grab ourselves... I think we already have plenty of fiber, honestly, so I don't even really think I need any... I don't really think I need to gather fiber from this area. I think we could utilize all this grass and brush over here to just get berries from. And then we'll be super stacked up on narco berries and be able to really get a start on making narcotics. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty confident that that'll be the best decision. So we'll do, do trees, gather all this wood. It looks like I'm a little heavy already. Then we'll hit all this brush and get the berries that we need. And then we'll take a pickaxe and we'll take a hatchet and get rid of all of these rocks over here. And then we're going to build up our base right here. I'm going to have a nice little beach base. It'll be a little bit better than the clutch hutch. I'm going to spend a little bit more time building everything up and making it a little bit more homey, a little bit more organized. You know, we're going to have to make room for having a fabricator and some more storage. And I'm going to want some more forges because we'll be getting a pretty decent amount of metal from the island here now. And we'll kind of be able to expedite the process of making metal ingots a little bit faster. We'll split up the metal and have multiple forges going. And we're just going to craft it all and get it all ready. Oh, whoa, there's a big... We got a traffic jam. Traffic jam. Everybody watch out. Okay, let's get out of the way. And we're just going to find somebody... I think the beaver has some weight reduction when it comes to wood. So I think we're going to put the wood into the beaver. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to want to get a beaver saddle. Because that's definitely going to help us be able to take out a lot of the trees over here. And yield us more wood than we would if we just had a hatchet to use so i'm definitely thinking that that's something that we might do here in the next couple of episodes or you know i might oh our ankylosaurus is tame which means we can claim the baby oh my goodness okay all right guys so we got ourselves two ankylos one's got Red legs, and it looks like this other one has green legs. Yup. The female has green legs on it. The male has red. Here, we're going to get you to unfollow real quick. We don't want you. We don't need you following us around. Very nice. Okay, excuse me, excuse me Mr. Parasaur. I'm sorry. I know this is my friend here. I don't know what we're going to call him yet, but let's get him over here and take a better look at him. Very nice. Okay. Got a green belly, some red legs. Very cool. You know, I'm not going to complain about a level 15 Ankylosaurus. Like I said, this is going to help us get some metal. It's a good starter Ankylo. And it'll have the weight reduction for the metal as well. So, you know, I'm perfectly content with this. I think we're going to... All right, let's give it a name. Let's see. Honestly, I'm just going to go with something simple. We're just going to call him Crush. Because he's going to be crushing those metal nodes so that we can get ourselves more metal. This is Crush. Crush, welcome to the family. The Bronto's not part of the family. He's just, he's just standing there awkwardly for the picture. So don't worry about him. All right, Gherkin gang, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. What a success. We are able to make it here to Herbivore Island, which is now better known as Pickle Island. We found ourselves a nice, good base location over here in this cove. We got ourselves two Angliosauruses so that we're able to grab some metal. And I think, honestly, we're going to be even more prepared to go back to that cave, take on those spiders. We're gonna get the tribute, we're gonna bring it back home, and all will be right again. But first, 
We got to get set back up again. We got to build ourselves a gun. We got to get some more ammo, get some better defenses, maybe get ourselves a better raptor or just a better tame that we can take into the cave and hopefully help us defeat some of those spiders. But I'm pretty confident that everything is going to be a-okay. Anyways, we're going to get a base started up over here. We're going to clear this area out, and we'll join you next episode for another fun-filled adventure. All right, everyone. I'm Pickles, and I'm out of here. Peace, everybody.